I've been dreaming all night Bringing me some inspiration All right guys, welcome back to my channel So what are we getting ready to do? We're getting ready to paint So I'm going to go in here and show you If you can see the transition here This is the um, software paint that we painted the house um, Almost a year now um, this is the silver strand and back here is um, fawn brindle paint color that we put here and I'm gonna be honest I love how the um, the fawn brindle let me put a light on how the fawn brindle against this cabin it changes the look of that cabin it almost I don't know makes the cabin look a lot brighter but if you can see we're gonna have to paint our cabins so I'm trying to zoom in so you can kind of like see some of the imperfections um, things that are causing me to want to paint these cabins. So as you can see, they had some type of stain up there. Um, but it seems like for me, and I wipe my cabins down, but it's like the more I wipe them, the more issues I see. Um, for example, you see that there, how that looks. And it doesn't matter how much I wipe it, it's going to look dirty. Same with this door. And so it's time to paint. So what we're getting ready to do is paint our kitchen cabinets, but we're gonna finish, um, first we wanna finish up the paint here. So we're gonna finish painting this fawn brindle all the way up here, all the way around here. All of that's gonna be fawn brindle. And the cabins are not gonna have any um, of that trim around the tops up there, around the, um, the molding, all that's gonna stay on there, but we're gonna just paint over it. It's gonna be all solid white to match the way this looks. And I think that'll give the cabinets a much cleaner look. Even this little piece here, um, I'm gonna paint that the same color, which will probably end up being um, the white color we use. Um, there's several, several shades of white, so we haven't decided yet what shade we want to go with and another thing we're going to do we were thinking about changing out the light fixtures but i don't think i'm going to do it now because once we painted this wall here i don't know it just looks so clean and it gives the kitchen such a classy look it just looks good especially with this recessed lighting and i just think everything looks so good um so i think that see how pretty and light it looks compared to what we have here so that's why I, I'm loving this Fawn Brindle color. So we're gonna stick with that color throughout. And I think that color is gonna give some lightness to our cabinets. And then when we come in and just paint it all the bone white color, all of the molding will look just like this. That's what we're gonna do. I don't think I'm gonna change out my hardware. I don't see a need. I mean, the cabin hardware looks fine. So I don't see a need to change it out, guys. But um, we don't have that many cabins in here to paint. So it shouldn't be that bad, but we're going to do it and we're going to see what it looks like, guys. And we will definitely bring you all along with us. Dude, I'm messing with Hillary. Here's your rag, baby. Wipe your wall down. Get the dust from the sanding. And I'll get the counter. All right, so spackle has been done, sanded. Everything moves, so we are ready to paint this side. Starting at this wall and going right on across. All right, so we have plastic covering everything here because we're only doing these cabins in sections. We've already priced our flooring. We told them we were in the middle of painting, so they said it's best to go ahead and finish painting cabinets and walls. That way when they come into the floor, you don't have to worry about your floor getting messed up. And then we're also going to do countertops as well. Thank you. 
got it all up there. It was hard, ain't it? So now that we've painted it, I like the lights better. The light fixtures um, that we have, I like those a lot better now. So I'm feeling like I won't be changing out anything. There's no need to. So this is how it looks with the windows. I think it looks really pretty, guys. I want to come all the way back here. Even the lamp looks so much prettier back here against this color. And then as you can see, it looks what it looks like on that end now from this side i can see a little bit of um, greenish or something so we did the um arches as well the same color um so yeah this is our color for the kitchen um so i'm liking it quite a bit um but we are in the kitchen today so he woke up and we decided he wanted to do cabin. So we're going to do the top today. I don't know what else we're going to do. I was planning on decorating, but I guess that's out the door. So um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So we have taken off all the doors now. Um, removed some of our dishes and stuff because he's going to sand. Um, let me come around. So we have all the doors, some of them here and there. So we're going to do the top from all of this. So... We did this portion yeah. here. I'm gonna sand. I think you're gonna sand first. Then I'm gonna wipe down. I'm sand all this. Okay, so he's gonna sand everything, y'all. And then when he's done sanding, then I'll come behind and wipe. And then um, we'll start putting on our first coat of white paint. So we're just using the hand sander, palm sander. That's what they call it, a hand sander, palm sander. Okay, a hand sander to sand. sand sanding block for the molding around our cabinets so we don't mess them up. And then we're just using the electric sander for everything else. So as you can see right here, this part of the molding is not done yet. And this kind of show you a transition of what it's gonna look like. So this is going to be a pretty set of white cabins. I ain't even going to lie. The only problem is we don't know how we're going to fix this wine rack. How we're going to get that part painted. We may end up leaving it like it is and just paint the front pieces of it white and leave the inside brown. Um, that's the only way I can think to try and do it. But I'm going to try and zoom out so I can show you the other part of the cabin. This is where the microwave sits. Um, this is up above the refrigerator. We have painted all of this. Tillery wanted to paint all behind it, so we did. And we got all of this side here painted down. It looks good. This is just one coat now. So far, we've done one coat, and it was looking real good for one coat. Um, so yeah, so this is gonna. This is what we have so far. This is two coats. Now we didn't paint inside all our cabins we only painted inside here because this is where the dish uh, the microwave sits so that's good and dry um up here we didn't paint and a lot of other places we didn't paint inside um, we didn't paint inside here this is on um, the cabin that holds all of our coffee cups so yeah so we didn't do that but we made sure we painted everything else we even painted inside where the refrigerator slides in um so yeah so we're gonna go ahead now and 
I'm probably give it 30 more minutes and then I'm going to start on the third coat and final coat for the frame and then we'll go outside because we still have um, a third coat to put on the one side of the doors we started and then we have to flip them over and start the first coat for the opposite side. So this is the upper cabinets and they look really, really good. We just got done painting. So we are um, finishing painting up the doors now. And um, so yeah, so this is our updated cabinets. And this is the same cabinets from the other side. So I think they came up really good. Now we did not paint the bottom. Let me zoom in just a little. The bottom cabinets have not been painted. As you can tell, we only painted the top cabinets. So the top cabinets um, are what we painted. Now this one we didn't paint today. We painted this one two weeks ago. And this one is beautiful. It's holding up really nicely. So this is the one. Um, it's in the corner. So of course it has shadows on it. But this is the one we painted the other day. Well, two weeks ago. And then this is what we are working with now. All right, guys. So we have finished. The, we did this about a week ago, two weeks ago. Those look spectacular. Now we started today doing the bottom part. So all we had to do was the facing of the frame here. We pulled the stove out and went all back here because none of this had been painted. So we painted all of that. We painted this. And this side here. All right, guys, so we are officially finishing up the paint um, for this side of the cabin. So as you can see, my husband's outside. He is finishing up the last doors. We went ahead and did all of our pullouts. We pulled them out. We didn't paint this part, but we did pull out of the pull out our we have pull-out drawers on these cabinets. So we took them all out. The facings on our drawers could not come off the way they built them because they were custom built. So what we did was we just left them on and painted them with them on there, painted the drawers inside and out. So now I have all my stuff sitting up here. So I'm hoping at least the pull-outs are dry enough that we can put them back and get my pots put back in. All right, guys, so we are finished painting our cabins. So what I can tell about this paint, this is day one paint, and this is two weeks. So as the days go by and it begins to cure, it takes on the color that it should be. Okay, so but yeah, so we got all of this painted up here. We worked on the down um, floor. Now this is the alabaster white paint. And I really love, love, love this paint, guys. It, it is beautiful. And it makes my, this is with the lights off. And as you can see, when we put the lights on, it's a really creamy white paint. So that looks so good. So yeah, this is what we have with the lights on in the kitchen. It looks so good, guys. And the paint that we bought, the guy said, as the paint cures and harden, it's going to harden up really good. And we won't have to worry about all these scuffs and all of that. Um, so I'm really glad about that. So next week... Unless my husband takes a break, our next order of business is this side. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're going to be working on this side next. And once we get that done, then our entire kitchen will be finished, guys. And I can't wait because the next order of business is going to be getting our floors, hardwoods put in. Right now we have laminate flooring, which we got paint everywhere, which I have a little trick for that. When I mop, all I use is um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, white, rubbing alcohol, and um, white distilled vinegar with warm water, and it'll come right up. So I'm going to be mopping today. So we're going to get that done. So once we finish, the next order of business is getting the floors done, and then getting the countertops, because we're going with granite countertops in here. And then the kitchen will be done. So we painted the kitchen. This here color is the Fawn Brindle paint color. And as you can see, it looks so pretty. I love how it brightened up our space. And we carried it right over into our dining area as well. So now you can see how good it looks. So it definitely brightened up the space here. Let me zoom in. 
you can see how good that looks. And I was even contemplating changing out my light fixtures. But since we painted, guys, I absolutely love the light fixtures. I think the paint definitely gave it what it needed. So I am very pleased with that. And when we span around, guys, this is the other side of the kitchen. We went with the alabaster white paint um, for the cabinets. It is a Sharon Williams paint. And guys, I'm gonna tell you, it came out so pretty. We painted the insides of our drawers. Um, that's not a good one, I can't show you there. Let me get open another one. We painted the inside of our drawers because they were all scratched up and everything. We even painted the pullouts. My kitchen cabinets are custom um, and they have this pullout tray these pull-out drawers that hold all of my pots. And we painted this as well, guys. And it definitely upped the look of our kitchen. Everything looks so clean, guys. I'm not even lying. These drawers were beat up and they were terrible looking. They were all scratched up. The, whatever paint was on them was gone. The insides of the doors were messed up. So this is something that I am so glad that we did. Everything came out so pretty, and I love how pretty um, the white cabinets look. So now, uh, within the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be working on painting this side. And when we get these cabins done, we will be finished with the um, cabinet paint. We'll be finished with the kitchen paint. And then the next step is to have our floors redone. So we are actually gonna be changing out our flooring throughout the entire house. We have laminate flooring. Um, and we're going to be going to Luxury Vinyl Plank. So yeah, so we're going to be going to Luxury Vinyl Plank for the flooring. And then we're also going to be changing out our countertops. So we're going to be going with granite countertops. So this gonna, we're going to be changing this out as well. And then both sides of this will be going to granite. Hey guys, so thank you for being here with us at Tillery TV, our unique space. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure you do hit the notification bell so you can be notified of upcoming videos. Stay tuned for more home updates. Bye now.